Wednesday, August 23rd. Um, we are going to start with our first item on the agenda, which is the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge We have a relatively brief agenda this evening, and I'm going to try to move through that. Um, adjustments to the agenda? Seeing none, I'm going to move on to approval of the school board minute, um, minutes from the meetings of uh, June 12th and June 13th. They're fine as they are? Yeah, there's a couple. Uh Aside from typo, that's uh, you can just right. bring that to Mary's attention. And move on to communications. None for this evening, um, and I'm anticipating no um, public comment <laughs> since I see all staff out here. I'm going to move on now to the superintendent's report, and um, we'll move through those items, Tom. Okay, I have a few notifications of resignation. Um, one is from Arthur Davis, high school social studies teacher. Um, Carolyn Sloan, who has been a sixth grade teacher at Cape Elizabeth Middle School. And Deborah Dana, who was uh, uh, assistant to the athletic uh, director's office. Okay. I also have an update, as you know, over the summer, um, permission was granted to to hire over the summer months. Some of these are positions that actually were filled. There's a few of them that were filled uh, before and were already approved by the board, but this is the, the entire list, and I'd like to just to read down through the names um, and the positions they will be filling. Um, Roxy Johnson will be a special education teacher um, at Pond Cove School. Also at Pond Cove, Francis Vita Taylor, grade four teacher. At the middle school, Allison Caruso, uh, grade, grade six. Joanne Parquet, grade seven, math science. Mary Smaha will be a .5, the new instructional support teacher that was approved in last year's budget. Kim Sturgeon will be the guidance counselor, and this is one that you did approve last June. Holly Swenson, grade seven, uh, language arts. Julie Williams, grade five and Beth Sulufo, who will be 0.5 French and also 0.5 Special Education Ed Tech 2. At the high school, Dini Bruns, uh, Social Studies, Patricia Cobb, 0.2 Art Teacher, Joe Conroy will be a 0.4 English Teacher, Daniel Paul, who was also approved last spring, English, and Matthew Smith, Biology. And those are the new um, teaching staff. Non-teaching staff, um, and these first few are all special education. Ed Tex, Elizabeth Campbell at Pond Cove, Jean Cunningham at Pond Cove, each point five, Melinda Glita, Ed Tech two, uh, special education, middle school, as is Jane Gordon, uh, Lisa Leonard, Ed Tech two, Pond Cove, Maria Otis, Ed Tech two, Pond Cove Computer Lab, Marlene Potter, Ed Tech One, Pond Cove Media Center, and Donna Weatherby, Ed Tech Two, Middle School Special Education. And just for your information, transferring to other positions than they were last year, Carmen Rosenblum will be moving from grade four to a .5 kindergarten teacher, and Mary Smaha uh, will be moving from an Ed Tech Two to the instructional support .5, and also will retain half of that position she was in last year. And also, um, I would like to just let Sue Weatherby 
um, give you as she usually does at this time of year, um, an update on the readiness of facilities for school opening. <laughs> no. The support council met today and um, the buildings are ready for the opening of school. There are a few last minute touches that need to be, be done, but um, most things that were um, on the schedule to be accomplished this summer, in fact, have been. And if you've had an opportunity to walk through the schools, it's nice to see those shiny floors. Um, they're doing last minute touches on glass and, and doorways and so forth, but um, everything will be set for the opening come Monday for the staff. And Sue, we always appreciate uh, the work that you do and the work of the staff to get the schools just looking great so that people are feeling good when they walk in. One of the things we did this year, which is a little bit different than what we've done in the past, we had them work a 10-hour um, day, four days a week, um, and we put them on the second shift, so they worked from 12.30 to 11, and they found out that um, their time was much more efficient and effective, not having to dodge people that were in the buildings, because as you know, the buildings are still very busy in the summer. Um, now that they're back on their regular schedules and the buildings are busier, they said progress for the last couple of days has been much slower, but it certainly was a good move for the summer, and it, it also gave them the opportunity to have long weekends. So um, I think it worked well for them, um, and it certainly worked well in terms of getting the buildings completed. We also started at the high school, which has sort of come up on the rear um, in past years. So I think that we did a much more thorough job at the high school, and um, the comments from the high school administration have noticed that um, you know things have been much more thoroughly done. The maintenance staff did a wonderful job too. They're on a cycle where they're renovating so many rooms in the high school each year. And um, Ernie and his crew actually did four classrooms on the second floor. So if you have, if you have the opportunity to go in and take a look at their good work, um, everything is fresh and clean and brand new, brand new, everything from ceiling to floor. So they look great. Thanks. That's great. Thank you, Sue. And just for a moment, um, we did have a a workshop where the board was informed about the future direction planning initiative, but um, we will be starting this year um, with the major uh, work of the future direction planning where we will have a variety of action teams that will be dealing with our strategic goals that we have set for the district and we'll be looking for not only staff but community and parental volunteers to, to help us in that. And, and several of those goals deal with anything from um, uh, issues around curriculum, um, assessment, um, uh, the climate of our school buildings. So a, there are a lot of, of different committees that will be working very hard this year, and we will need um, parent support and involvement, and there will be notices going through the parent associations or home um, for parents to volunteer to be on some of those committees. Okay. Lastly, um, in your packet is a proposed uh, school board meeting brochure which we talked about last year, and um, actually I think it was almost a year ago that when we had our MSMA group come down and uh, run a workshop, they gave us a sample, which this is modeled after. Uh, it would be something that uh, we would have available at all school board meetings so that as people come in, they can kind of have an understanding about how the board operates, what an executive session is, and what the role uh, the school board is, superintendent, et cetera. So it's something that we'd like to um, mass produce and have them ready at all school board meetings. I know there probably are a few adjustments and changes, so that's why it's in your packet. So it, please let Mary know if there's anything that, that looks wrong, out of place, and we can make some adjustments if there's nothing substance that, that you'd like to change. Were, were there any substantive issues? No, mine okay. as usual, though, has... <laughs> I th um, content wise looks good no, set up great. format yeah. okay so Jen if you would just if you found a, a couple of things if you just let Mary know and then we'll have these ready for our next board meeting I'd like to suggest that uh, perhaps copy of these go out with the first mailing of the high school parents association middle school parents etc so uh, oh so it goes in that packet that everybody that's yeah. so that all the parents at least have it 
Yeah, that's, that's a good idea. idea. Front and yeah. perhaps that we provide copies over to the council and. Uh, Those aren't already already made up, are they? No, but I'm just going to say if we, if we have if we have a final format of it, if that's approved, then uh, uh, I think uh, I think the end of this week uh, she's going to be putting them together. Um, so that'll be coming up in the next several days. So if you can get your grammatical changes to us. <laughs> <laughs> well, I already talked to Mary the other day about a couple, but um, I'll call her. Okay, um, I'm going to move on to committee reports, and we did have a finance subcommittee meeting this evening. Kevin, want to give us a quick overview? Uh, just on a quick overview, we didn't have much to do. We signed warrants and uh, uh, just had a general discussion, uh, nothing very specific. Um, talked about the floor, the, uh, the floor problem in the 30s building, which has been corrected at a minimal cost. Um, and that's, uh, that's pretty much it. Okay, thank you. Uh, Jennifer, uh, policy subcommittee. Uh, we have our first meeting scheduled for September 6th at 12 noon in the conference room. Um, and uh, some of the issues that we're going to be discussing this year um, are the various athletic policies. Um, okay. And um, Marie, the planning and uh, this time it's facilities focused. Um, our first meeting will be September 12th at nine o'clock and I do want to mention that over the summer we have hired um, an architectural engineering firm um, which the committee uh, that interviewed, we interviewed three different firms and chose SMRT who is local here in Portland. Mm -hmm. um, we're very excited about in terms of what they have to offer us and actually they've been in the schools already and have met with I think all of the administrators and once school begins um, you know they will continue with teachers and so on um, so we should have um, good information to bring back to the board um, by December is our target date right, right. now and uh, in the board packet um, all the board members did receive the um, <laughs> The proposal, and it looks good. That, so, and you have the dollar amounts and everything. Yep, it looks great. Um, unfinished business. I believe there is none, so I'm going to move on to new business, and this is nominations for fall athletic positions. We have a few uh, recommendations for nominations for fall athletics. One is Fred <laughs> Crane, varsity field hockey. Um, Laura Pretty, JV field hockey, and Sarah Jordan. Freshman girls soccer. Okay. I need a motion. I move that we accept the superintendent's nominations for full athletic positions. Okay. Second, Marie. Second. Discussion or questions? Seeing none, all those in favor? This time it's 6 0. Jim has um, some family business, is um, heading off with his son Andy out to Colgate University to get him settled at school. Um, consideration of the superintendent's nominations for 2000-2001 co-curricular have positions. I have some co-curricular uh, positions um, that I'd like to place in nomination. Uh, Bruce Lynn, he's with the middle school, outdoor experience, Mary McGuire, outdoor experience, Beverly Bisbee, and Gary Record, outdoor experience. Uh, civil rights team, Anine Burgess, yearbook, Michelle Gagnon and Nancy Scott. World Language Club, Susan Dana. Computer Club, Beverly Bisbee. The Newspaper, Rachel Starr. Math Team, Grades 7 and 8, Tom Wilbur. Talent Show, Tom Wilbur. Allied Arts <coughs> Team Leader, Chris Turner. And at the, the High School, Lacey Goodrich for Fall Art Club. Okay, and another motion? Marie, um. thanks. I'd like to make a motion for the superintendent's consideration of the nominations for the 2000-2001 co-curricular feet positions. Okay, in a second. Jennifer, thank you. Um, questions or comments? Seeing none, all those in favor? Six, zero. Um, consideration of a lease purchase agreement for computer and technology equipment. Um, we reviewed the full vote and um, 
in our finance committee. And Kevin, why don't you um, present that? This is, as usual, a, a lease agreement for our computer equipment. Um, and I will just stick to the key uh, phrase and that under, under and pursuant to the provisions of tidy, Title 20-A MRSA Sections 1001 and 1055, the Superintendent of Schools B and hereby is authorized to execute and deliver a tax-exempt lease purchase agreement with People's Heritage Leasing Corporation in the name and on behalf of the town of Cape Elizabeth. Um, the amount is $128,253,000, and I believe that this is a three-year lease. And I would move that we adopt the lease as, uh, as uh, stated. Okay. So the vote would be as presented, Mary, in the materials, mm -hmm. although Kevin's abbreviated it. Um, second? on that motion? Jennifer, thanks. Um, any questions or comments? And seeing none, all those in favor? 6-0. Um, we're on the item of uh, the soccer trip, and in the packet for each of the board members, uh, there was a, um, a description. No, the, uh, did I miss that? It was Hold on here. It was, it was distributed last um, at the workshop. Okay. And um, who is going to present this? It's, uh, I don't know. Keith, if you want to give the specifics of the, the soccer trip to um, Vermont. I, we, uh, I, I thought everything was on the... It is, it is, Keith. I think... Uh, here it is. I've got it. Did, uh, do all the board members have it with them? Oh, I saw it. And I don't yeah, we, we got it last night, and it was in a different packet. This is the boys' varsity, um, and it's a traditional trip, August 25th through to the 26th. Um, this time to Essex in Vermont, Essex High School in Vermont. Um, costs paid by the booster organization, overnight accommodation um, in hotel rooms, um, as specified here. And each athlete's paying their own room fees and two meals, with competition on the 25th. Right, the same Friday night and then coming back and saying. Okay. Um, any questions for Keith on this? This is something they have done on a regular basis. Last year, all the we teams were here. We hosted last year, it rotates every year. Okay. Also on that Saturday, the girls have a 16 round robin tournament here at us. Um, is there a motion from a board member? I'd move that we approve the uh, soccer trip. As presented. As presented and wish the team well. Okay. Second. Um, Susan, thank you. Um, any questions or comments about this? Seeing none, all those in favor? 6-0. Um, that's the last item on the agenda. I just want to go over some dates to remember. There's a finance subcommittee meeting Tuesday, September 12th, 6.30 in the Jordan Conference Room and followed by our regular school board meeting at 7.30 here in the council chambers. Uh, school board uh, workshop meeting on Tuesday, September 26th. The topic still to be determined, looks like. Um, and that's at 7 p.m. in the high school library. That concludes our business for this evening. Thank you very much.